We commonly get the question, why do I have to give the buyer of my house when I'm selling my house a credit for property taxes? The reason is because in Illinois, the property taxation system is a little funky. When we're paying property taxes, we're actually paying last year's property taxes. So when you get that bill in the mail, it's for the previous year. So for example, if it's the first tax bill um, that usually comes in February or March in Cook County, that tax bill is for the first half of the previous year, for January, for the first six months, for January through the end of June. Then when you get the second tax bill, usually in July, that's for the second half of the last year, usually July through December. The reason that we do that is it has to do a lot with history and the Great Depression, but for our purposes now, what we'll explain is that so that the county can determine how much to charge you in taxes. When we appeal property taxes, we're appealing its current year value. So for example, in year 2019, we're appealing what the property's worth in 2019 for assessment purposes or for taxation purposes. It takes a long time for the assessor to assess because it's the entire county of approximately 2 million pins. It takes basically the entire year for them to figure out what the final values are. So once the final values are set, they know how much to charge the following year. It's a little more complicated in that the first bill is always going to be 55% of what you paid the previous year because when the first bill comes out, the assessor and the county still don't know what the final valuations are. Generally, they're certified, meaning they're finished and official on April 1st of the year that they're billed. So the second bill is what's called the reconciliation. So if you paid 55% of your bill and your bill stayed the same as last year, the second half is just going to be 45% of what you paid last year. But usually there's a little bit of fluctuation. So if your assessed value goes up significantly, your second half bill is going to be much higher. So now that we understand that, it's easier to explain why you give the buyer of your property a credit for property taxes. When you sell them the property, you still owe taxes for the previous year and usually for the current year. So if you close April 15th of 2019, not only do you owe part of the property taxes for last year, but you're also going to go owe oh, January 1st through April 15th of this year that's going to be paid next year. So since the county doesn't care who owned the property at the time, they just want the taxes paid, you give the, a credit to the buyer. The buyer is now responsible for paying the property taxes. You can wash your hands of the property and go on with your lives. That's the reason why you have to give a credit to the buyer of your property. And alternatively, if you are the buyer, that's the reason that the seller has to give you a credit because it would otherwise be unfair for you to be responsible for property taxes for a time period that you did not own the house. If you have questions, our attorneys always give free consultations from Robson and Lopez. You can click the button that says request a free consultation or give us a call at 312-523-2166.